This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take someone's face and superimpose it onto an inanimate object using GIMP. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. And both of the images I'll be using for this tutorial are linked in the description of the video in case you'd like to follow along. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the image of the oranges. So I'm just going to right click that and go to open with GIMP. And there's our oranges and then we're going to open up the um, the uh, the image of the angry face. Open with GIMP. So that should be opened in a separate tab. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to right click this layer and go to add alpha channel. And then we'll right click that layer and go to add layer mask. And we're going to want white full opacity chosen and click add. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit up to around her face where that is. And in order to do that, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel. And there's also a zoom picker down here in case you don't have a mouse wheel. But uh, what we want to do now is we want to crop out the area of her face. And to do that, we're going to grab the brush tool. And we're going to want to use black. And the brush we want to use, we want to use a really, really soft brush. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I think this is the softest brush there is. Hardness 025. And we want the brush to be really big. So I'm going to make it about make it about that big, maybe a little bigger than that. We want it to be like, yeah, we want it to be this big because we want the we want the edges going around her face to be really, really soft. And we want to be like a really smooth transition. So I'm just going to go ahead and start erasing the area outside of her face using the, the, uh, the black paintbrush. We want to get rid of the edges and the borders. Like that. Get rid of the hair. Try to get rid of the hair while trying to keep some of the eyebrow in there. Get rid of that. Oops, went a little too far with that one. Like that. And get rid of this right here. And that should be pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the hard brush, uh, hardness 100. And I'm just going to clear out a square going around her head. We don't, have to, we don't have to clear out the entire image. We just need a certain portion of it cleared out. That should be pretty good. And what we could do now is right click on that layer and go to apply layer mask. And that finalizes it. And then we can grab the rectangle select tool and just click and drag to create a rectangle going around her face. And we could just go to uh, edit, copy. And then we can come back over here to our oranges image and we can go to edit, paste as new layer and what we want to do now is we'll grab the, um, the scaling tool and click on the face and just hold control and grab one of these corner arrows and scale that down and let me just put this over here to see how that looks I'm gonna scale that a little smaller go ahead and click scale see how that looks I'm gonna grab the move tool and I'm gonna put that over the orange here let me zoom in on this so you can see it better like that that's pretty good I'm actually just going to rotate that around just a tiny bit. It looks like it's off center. Uh, I'm just going to grab the rotate tool and I'll just click and drag to rotate that around just a tiny bit, maybe like that, so it looks horizontally even. Then go ahead and click rotate. And that should be pretty good. That's a good starting point. So, what we want to do now is come up here to where it says mode, click that drop down, and we'll come down to where it says grain merge. We're going to use grain merge, and that's going to make it kind of uh, orange. What we could do now is right click that layer and go to duplicate layer. And up here we'll go to this drop down and we'll choose, uh, for this one we'll choose multiply. And then we'll duplicate this layer one more time. Right click it and go to duplicate. And we're going to set the mode back to normal. And what we want to do now is leave some color behind for like the white teeth and the and the, and the color of the tongue and the uh, the white of the eyeballs. If you notice here in the uh, thumbnail, I have that color left in there. So that's what we're going to do with this layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click that that layer and go to add layer mask. But for this one we want to use black full, tr full transparency so we could work in reverse. And that's going to make the whole thing transparent. And we're going to take the white paint brush and we're going to color back in the areas that we want to be visible. So let me make this brush a lot smaller, maybe like that. That's uh, still too big. All right, that's pretty good. 
And um, for this brush, I'm going to use the next one down, the next softest one down, Harden is 75. And I'm just going to zoom in and paint in the eyes to reveal the eye, the white of the eyes and the eye color. Go ahead and paint that in. I'll come over here and do the same thing to this eye. To move the page around, I'm just pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And if you don't have a mouse wheel, it should be little scroll bars on the sides here. I'll go ahead and paint this one in as well. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to come down here and do the same thing to the mouth, the inside of the mouth. We're going to get the, we'll get the teeth first. Paint all of that in. Maybe get some of this orange going up at the top of the teeth over here. Get some of that out of there. Come down here, get that out. That's looking pretty good. And now we can just make this brush a little bigger and just fill in the rest of it. I'm using the bracket keys to make the brush smaller and bigger. There's also the size meter over here. Just color that all in. And that should look pretty good. Let me zoom back out. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out to 100%. And it's looking pretty good, but the only problem we have now is that there's sort of like this like this bright area showing through. If you notice, it's like yellow going around the face. You can almost kind of see the outline of where we cropped the face in there from this image. So in order to get rid of that outline, that outline is mostly showing through from the first clipboard layer right here. If I turn those off, you'll see that's where that, all that brightness is coming from. So to do that, I'm going to click on this first clipboard layer. I'm just going to right click that and go to add layer mask. And for this one, we want to use white fill opacity. Go ahead and click add. We want to switch our brush back to black. And we want to go back to this soft brush over here. Click on that. And we'll make this brush bigger as well. And we're just going to go through, okay, maybe not that big. We're just going to go through and brightly, lightly touch out the areas where it's really light. Very gently. You don't want to like erase the whole thing. So just pick key areas and get rid of that. Like around the eyes here, that's, get rid of that. Maybe around the side of the mouth. And you don't want to go too overboard with this, otherwise you end up with a lot of it missing like that. So we'll keep this, try to keep this somewhat on the light side. And uh, maybe one up there like that. And just try to blend it in and make it look natural like that. And then we'll just click on this first layer here. And you can see that's pretty much it. We've, we've finished our little uh, facial uh, face transplant onto the orange here. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.